JJ feel like you got the monkey off your back with that home run? Uh, I mean, you know, it's baseball's a hard game, so it was just it was a good swing. I mean, it was it was due time to come at some point, but um, can't get too high about it. So kind of just rock out in the middle and get ready to play tomorrow. What goes through your mind when you get hit yesterday? Is it a uh, oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened again? Uh, yeah, I mean, when I got hit today, it was it is what it is. You know, yesterday was a little bit more painful because it caught some of the bone, but I mean, that's that their plan is they like to throw cutters inside the lefties and. Um, thankfully, I, I see the pitch decently so far, so I wasn't swinging at him. And I think the guy just got a little bit really trying to get me to go at it, and so they put a little extra on it, and it just it came in. And you know, we train not to move our feet, so I didn't move my feet. And then today, caught me a little bit on the calf, um, but it's the same thing. Like it's, it's no harm to them. That's just their pitching plan, and they pulled one, so it is what it is. Did you have a thought yesterday? I might not be able to, you know, stay in the game. I might have missed a little bit more yet, or not? No, I mean, I, I went like instantly into the uh, bathroom with the trainer to take a look at it, and it was kind of on like where my femur meets my shin bone, so it's a pretty solid area that we were confident. Like it's good, it's a bruise, it's a bad bruise, it's gonna hurt, but it, it'll be fine. How, how are you feeling overall? I mean, how long? I don't know if there's been an update on how long you think it'll be before you're, you're back playing shortstop yeah. or anything. I'm not sure. It's, it's obviously just kind of like a day by day thing. We're we're happy with um, me being in the lineup and trying to get back in the swing of things, hitting. We definitely don't rush anything. But I mean, yeah, it's it's been a grind for sure. Can't really prepare your body to really get back into it after taking so much time off and, and what I could do. But we've built it up a pretty good bit. I feel pretty good. I mean, I was a little bit tired after yesterday. It was probably the most I'd running I've done. Uh, so today was a little bit of a slower day around the bases, but I mean, it worked out pretty good and it'll just be uh, more rehab after this one and then see how we feel tomorrow. JJ, I'm kind of curious. I mean, so you missed the 24 games. Yeah. Your first game back, three for four, uh -huh. double that wins the game. And it was like, you weren't even gone. And then, you know, then it's kind of plateaued since then. Yeah. And then can you just kind of take me through that? Like, what were you thinking after that first night? And then what's been going through your mind, you know, the, the next couple of weeks after that? Yeah, I mean, the, the first game went obviously better than I could have ever imagined. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's, it's baseball. It's a funny game. You know, the first one, I wasn't thinking much at all. I was just happy to be playing. I hadn't played for so long that I was just up there playing. And, and I think a little bit translated into that's what I can do, and that's the hitter that I am. And then, you know, you get more into the swing, uh, swing of things, and, and the game starts catching up to you. I haven't been out here. we got different arms, different pitching plans. I haven't seen live pitch. It's just yeah. it's a whole mess. It's a hard game. So, I mean, yeah, it was a little bit of a spoiling myself for the first one. Um, but no, I mean, I'm, I'm still just happy to be playing and, and I know as, as much as that game could come out, another bad game could come out, you never know. It's just a game, so you just stay in the middle. Until yesterday, you'd been kind of popping everything up to, to left. But yeah. Not, but is that because you're, I mean, you're not getting the push or is it just, uh, does it feel different or what, what do you think there? No, I also don't know how accurate that is. I had a lot of grounders in the mix of that as well. Okay. Um, the Marshall game, I think, I had two pop flies, but no, it's it's baseball. It's a hard game. Nobody's robotic. Yeah. Mays did say though he thinks you know when you're at your best, you're you're driving it you know middle away, especially like you yeah. did on that home run. Is that is that something you try to make a concerted effort to do, or is that just kind of natural? Yeah, no, that's that's been my natural stroke for the longest time. Um, I like to sit in that gap, and and you know people that can kind of try to throw you off that gap, it can become a little bit difficult. And so these guys with the cutters in, it's kind of people that they can get that in on you. Um, but for me, it was just a fight of not trying to overcompensate for what they want to do and just staying what I want to do. And, um, you know, baseball's a hard game as much as it is for a hitter as it is a pitcher. So they're not perfect. They make mistakes. And thankfully, the ones they missed over the plate today, I was able to put a better swing on. Does it seem that hard for Derek at the moment? Uh, I mean, yeah, he's, he's unbelievable. There's not much I can say about it other than that. Um, he's just he's a great guy. Best teammate on the team, uh, best teammate I've ever had. And, you know, he just competes his butt off every single day. What what makes you, him, no, go ahead. Just what makes him such a great teammate in addition to what he does on the mound? It's just um, the the intent that he brings every day. Like when he's not throwing, he's just as hype as when he is throwing. He just wants everyone to do well. Um, he also went through like a little injury before the year started that kind of kept him sidetracked. But all he wanted to do was just get back on the field. Like he had a protocol that he had to follow. And every day he was in the training room like, I felt good. Like, let me just take the next step. And the trainer's like, hey, like you can't do that. You can't do that. So he's just a guy who just wants to be on the field at all times. And he just wants to see everyone do well. And then how much does it affect you at the plate that you can't drop down a bunt right now like you would have last yeah. year when people are shifting so hard yeah, on you? Yeah, it, it's tough. I mean, obviously speed is a huge aspect of my game. And so for me to not have that um, entirely right now, you feel a little bit handicapped at the dish. Um, something you got to get used to. And I mean, I'm just, I'm so happy and blessed to be able to hit. And that's obviously what I'm super excited to do is just get that little bit of playing. I mean, as much as I'd love to have the full speed back, be able to bunt, be able to steal at all times, score on anything and just really be my true self. Um, it'll come, it'll come. And we're just, we're happy with what we got right now. How did that home run help your confidence today? 
Yeah, I mean, it, it felt great, obviously, but like I said, it's a game, so you can't get too high about it. Um, there's always going to be the next one. You know, I could go out and have a bad one tomorrow. I could go out and have a great one tomorrow. You can't get too excited about it. You just got to stay on the approach, stay in the middle ground, um, know who you are as a player, be confident every time, and, and just understand, you know, I'm up there with a plan, follow my plan, hopefully get a good pitch to hit. If you don't, it's part of the game. If you do, that's what you can do, and just try to go off that. Juju, from a team approach as a team here, there have been games where, you know, you guys didn't play well and lost that probably wish you, you know, thought you were going to win. Yeah. And then, you know, you bounce back and, and, you know, you take down the number 17 team two games or, you know, you get no hit by Oklahoma and then you come back and win the next two games yeah. after that. How's that bounce back happen, I guess, for, for, for this team? Yeah, I mean, baseball is just a weird game. It's, it's different than any other game. You know, you don't see a lot of Power 5 teams, like, lose to a, a smaller non-Power 5 team in football because it's just the skill level is that much deeper. And it can be like that in baseball, but it's just one of those games where – there's a good guy on the mound on yeah. any team. Uh, he can just control the game and he can win it for, him, for the team. So it's a tough one, but the biggest thing is just like knowing who we are as a team, understanding that one loss is one loss, put it away. We can beat anybody on any given day and just having a short memory. Going back to Derek for a second, you obviously played behind Blaine last year. Yeah. How similar has their runs kind of been? Blaine went through that complete game yeah. stretch and then just compare those two, what they're like out there on the mound? Yeah, it's definitely a super similar profile. Um, and, you know, it's kind of cool just to see those type of guys come out here and, you know, mix arm slots, try to pick people off, control the game, control the bunt game, make good defensive plays. Um, and, and they're just – they're hitter's nightmare, to be honest. It's like they can throw a ball on any side of the plate. They can throw any pitch, any count. Stuff's moving everywhere. So, I mean, it's just really cool. We got a, a glimpse of it with tracks, and then now we can see it from the left side with Derek.